Hi YouTubers, it's George, I'm in the garage. I'm working with my 49 to 1 Ballon uh, Is it unbalanced, unbalanced? Yeah, it's 49 to 1 unbalanced, unbalanced. The SWR at one point was pretty flat across from about um, 2 meg to 30 meg and it's about 1.5 it's pretty good but for some reason it's gone to this I'll, I'll actually add a photograph and um, I don't know why And I'm doing the same tests I normally do. And what I have is a set of valued resistors. So 49 to 1 is 50 ohm in times 49 gives you 2.5k. So that's your load or your high impedance aerial, roughly. And that's what I'm getting. And um, on 14.9 megs, it's reading SWR of 2, which is rubbish. So I've disconnected the capacitor, um, just in case of capacitor failing. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put another resistor in here to see whether it um, uh, makes a difference with a high value resistor. Or I'm going to check my resistor, might be the best thing to do. Well, um, yes, no, I don't know what's going on. Um, I've took off windings. I've added windings, I've spaced the windings, and I just can't get it to shift from this sort of thing. I think it's the ferrite. I can't think of it anything else. This ferrite here, it might be um, the wrong material, or it's got damp, or it's got a crack in it, or something. But it was working. I just don't get it. Perhaps it's been overheated. Strange. I'm having some strange things happening at the moment. And I can't put my finger on what's causing it. I think I might try and wind another 49 to 1 with a small core. And, um, and see how I get on with that. Okay, yes, I'm in the apartment at Chrome at the moment, and, but I brought my radio kit with, with me as I want to do some tests near the light house at Chrome. But I want to carry on with this, and um, as you can see, it's back together now with the original core and the original winding. Before I tell you what the fault was, I'll go over a couple of things. Now, in some of these 49 to 1 balance you, you can buy, the twisted wires for the primary on the set on the centre conductor of the coaxial socket, and on some of them they're on the ground connection. And I honestly don't know which is the right way now because I've seen so many variations of where the twisted wire is the centre conductor or the twisted wire is the outer conductor of the coax so it's all a bit confusing but what I did when I had the nano VNA I tried it both ways and I found the best SWR and the best receive signal on a um, N fed half wave on the 20 meter and the 40 meter band it was better if the twisted wires were on the center conductor which I've done here and I don't know you can see that they're soldered in and crimped because to me that's the start of the windings for the primary and secondary right now what I've done I've, um, I've tried rewinding the core I've tried adding turns to the core, removing, changing the value of capacitance, and guess what the fault was? 
it's me, I'm an idiot. I didn't calibrate the Nano VNA before using it. And once I calibrated it, I realised that there was nothing wrong with this ballon, this QRP ballon. And it works perfectly okay on receive, on trans, uh, receive and transmit on the 40 meter band and the 20 meter band, which are the only bands I'm really interested in. And it works extremely well. And it's less than 1.1. I can't read the SWR reading. And um, so what I've got to do, I've got to clean these edges up and put these covers back on. And uh, and there we have it. Me being stupid. And uh, so apologies if everybody's been shouting at the screen saying I should have calibrated the, the Nano VNA before I started. Yes, I should have done. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. Comments welcome.